Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. On behalf of the Foundation's Board of Directors and all of our colleagues from the Foundation's three offices, most of who are here today, we would like to welcome you to the second Stavros Nyarkos Foundation International Conference on Philanthropy. Many of you have traveled from distant lands to participate in or to attend the conference. We greatly appreciate your efforts to join us in the same way we appreciate everyone's presence in the audience. Before we proceed, we would like to acknowledge all those whose hard work has made this conference possible. This has been a collective effort from the very beginning. It would not have been possible otherwise. Special thanks go to our colleagues Asimina, Elenia, Titika, Thanasis, George, Ioana for putting this together, as well as to all of our colleagues in the Foundation's programs departments for helping us identify the topic and shape the conference. We see these conferences as a great opportunity to bring together colleagues from the philanthropic sector, both from the giving and the receiving end of it, as well as others who have dedicated their lives to public service, to exchange ideas and to work together to maximize our collective input. But these conferences also complement and expand upon our Foundation's work. The main theoretical premise of this year's conference the notion of the social welfare society, is that needs are so much greater that require the, con the convergence of the public, private, and philanthropic sectors in order to effectively address them. This certainly represents Greece's current reality as a result of the ongoing socioeconomic crisis. At a time when the state's diminishing ability to provide social welfare services is greatly impacting society, the Foundation, through its additional $130 million grant to assist against the crisis, is complementing the state's declining input. In a little over than a year and a half, the Foundation has committed grants totaling $75 million as part of this initiative, which is in addition to the Foundation's standard grant-making activities around the world. One may argue that public-private partnerships fit within the overall concept of a social welfare society and are exceedingly becoming an effective way to address large-scale social challenges and to create valuable input. Today, many of you visited the construction site of the Stavros Nyarkos Foundation Cultural Center. With a total cost of $796 million, the project is the Foundation's largest single gift and it includes new facilities for the Greek National Opera and the National Library of Greece, and a large public park. It is the largest ever public-private partnership of its kind in Greece, an engine of short to long-term economic stimulus and a testament to the country's future. Good afternoon and welcome. There is a Greek proverb that says, if you don't praise your house, it will collapse upon you and kill you. So if you allow me for a minute, I will praise our house. As Lenya said, a lot of our colleagues have worked very hard in all three offices to make this happen. But this would have not taken place today, it would have not been possible without Elena herself. She's one of the most hardworking people I have ever met. This is a very complicated event to put together and she took care of every single detail. I want to thank her personally and I think she deserves our applause. <laughs> Thank you, but this means that my house will fall upon my head, so <laughs> thank you, Stelio, for your help with everything. <laughs> now, the theme of this year's conference, the role of philanthropy within a social welfare society, may seem at a glance to be very straightforward and a given. It is, however, anything but that. To paraphrase a distinguished classicist description of the sea in Homer, the subject itself has both a surface and depth. What appears to be a straightforward will prove after two days of presentation and debates to be a very complex issue. The parameters that define its sectors, the public, private, philanthropic participation and role in the provision of public services have been determined over a very long period of time and are situation specific. The notion of collaboration between all three principles for the sake of pursuing and offering pragmatic and effective public services is ideal. 
but the path to its realization, rather arduous and treacherous, since it requires redefining roles and changing traditional assumptions. A lot is at stake, there is no doubt about that. It is our hope that what will follow today and tomorrow will provide a framework for everyone to begin collaborating and considering seriously the implications and potential of such a major shift. During the next day and a half, we will meet in plenary sessions as well as breakout sessions. Participation in the breakout sessions is on a first-come, first-served basis due to limited room capacity. Following today's breakout sessions, please gather back in this room for a presentation by the Greek Minister of Tourism before we wrap up for today. We will not have any breaks today, but coffee will be served throughout the afternoon. The entire conference is being live streamed on the Foundation's website, snf.org, where, where all related material and videos will also be available from next week on. Finally, please note that all excess food from today's and tomorrow's lunches and coffee breaks will be donated to organizations in need through our grantee, Borume. Thank you for your attention. Let's hope we all have a productive conference.